Hello, I'd like you to meet Franz. Franz loves books and stories, but he has one big problem. When he tries to turn the page, his hands just won't do what they should. So instead of being fun, learning to read and playing with books often ends in frustration. In this film, we'll look at how Franz can use an adapted electronic book so that he can be successful and have fun as he moves towards learning to read independently. To find help, we'll visit a website called Tar Heel Reader. Tar Heel Reader is a wonderful resource offering help for kids who may be having difficulty learning to read for any number of reasons. In Tar Heel Reader, there are over a thousand adapted electronic books in many languages. Because Franz is German, we'll be looking for a German book, so we enter the word Farben, colors, in the search window and see what we find. We'll see if the story Blau und Gelb is suitable for Franz. This story is also available in English in Tar Heel Reader under the title Look Up and Look Out. In order to use an electronic book, Franz must be able to use at least one simple computer function. He must be able to use the mouse click or even better, the right arrow key of the keyboard. So we found a book that he'll enjoy reading, looking through and listening to. Now we'll look at how Franz can access this book independently. At the moment, using a regular keyboard is not an option. We'll look for a switch that Franz can use and also for a simple device which can adapt the keyboard functions that he needs. With a Switch Interface Pro from Don Johnson and a Jelly Bean Switch from Ablenet, Franz has independent access to simple computer functions. Installing this equipment seems to happen almost of its own accord. Our next step will be to look for a good position to mount the switch. We'll look at three locations. In the middle of the table, in a back corner, and vertically at the table's edge. Franz is now demonstrating for us why it's important to have the switch firmly mounted and to hide the cable. Now that he's no longer tempted to fiddle with the cable and the switch, he can concentrate on the matter in hand. In this case, the middle of the table didn't work out as the best position for Franz's switch. He becomes so involved in hitting the switch that he can't concentrate on what's going on around him. The front corner of the table looks slightly more promising. He can activate the switch and also observe its effect. After a while, it becomes apparent that Franz has a tendency to leave his hand lying on the switch and then to wonder why nothing's happening. So now we try mounting the switch vertically at the side of the table. He activates the switch with a sideways movement of his arm and when he relaxes, his hand falls to the table leaving the switch open for the next activation. Franz can observe the effect of using his switch and when he relaxes, his hand rests not on the switch but on the table next to it. Now, together with Franz, we can read his favorite story. Kommt ein Mann die Treppe rauf, klingelt und klopft an. Guten Tag, Herr Nasemann. Well, Franz and I both hope you found this useful, and if you need more information, then visit tarheelreader.org or send me an email at paul at